Hi there guys, I understand a couple of you have had problems with the QD tech boards. So, uh, just looking at the comments in the blog there. Uh, this is the little devil here that you want. I think you can clearly see it says uh, 1.8 uh, TFT module and 1.8 SPI, 128 by 160. What you don't want is this one because it looks similar but it isn't the same. It doesn't have the second connector, it just has the one big one and it says KMR. For reasons I haven't quite figured out yet, that, that doesn't, it's not code compatible. It's almost code compatible but not quite, so it's not the one you want. So these are the ones that I'm uh, using, 1.8 TFT. It has a big connector which I don't use and a small connector which I do. And I think you will probably be able to read that. This one here, ground backlight, which is 3.3 volts. VCC, which is 5 volts. Clock, D in, DC, CS and reset. All right, so that's the board. All right, so here's one I prepared earlier. This is a pretty standard Chinese ESP12 board. No resistors or anything. And there is the board there. So, what we're going to do, we're going to plug this in. And it is going to show a white screen. Okay. When I'm looking at this, I'm seeing it in reverse on my screen, so that's why I keep moving the wrong way. Right, so um, I'll, you know, I'll put this down a second, and I'll show you that I have um, uh, Pete's terminal here, serial terminal, and if I hit the debug button, nothing happens. Because I've had it disconnected, haven't I? Right, uh, hit the debug button and up here somewhere, code version 2.202, which you get off the web. Now, if it's not 2.1, I think, best to get 2.2. If it's not that, it doesn't have the commands to run those boards. So, and I'm using, in this case, SDK version 2.1, but if you've just flashed the boards, then you're not concerned with that. So that works, okay? So if we, um, how can I do this without putting in my teeth? Hold on, see if I can, yeah, kind of. There's the USB lead there, and there's the display. So what I'm gonna do here, the string I'm gonna hit is the one, um, I think you've all seen, QD string, uh um per not percent dollars capital s dollars p etc um well if i take qd string um i don't know if you can see that there just qd string dollars s and i run that you see that it clears the screen. If I run the big one, try and bring that a bit closer for you, what you'll see happens is that the screen clears, and of course I have it upside down, and we get the, the test, which is not going to focus no matter what I do. Uh, which says, hello, uh, 180010, 26th of the year 2017, because that's what the time is now. And if I select that again, you get the time later on. So there you are, it's, it's in focus. So that's it, that's a standard ESP8266. Just, I'll tell you what, I'll, the version numbers and that, I'll put them on overlays on the screen so that you can see them. Uh, that's a standard USB from the computer. Uh, we're talking serial now. That's exactly the same as if I'd sent it by MQTT. And as you can see, it works. Now, it just so happens that I have another one of these. 
So just in case anyone thinks that's a fluke, I'm going to, my connector's falling a bit here. I'm going to take that on out. I don't recommend you do this plugging stuff in live. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, can I get away with this? I'm missing a wire. Oh, there it is. Don't you just hate that? Uh, unfortunately, you can't really see a great deal here. But I'm plugging this in just in order there. Three. Four. Five. Six. And then the final two. Um, what do we have? We have reset, which is the top one, and then we'll plug the other one in in there. Okay, so again, you've got that white screen. If we send the selected string, uh, nothing happens. So I think. The reason for that will be the shortcuts I've taken with reset and that. You've got to reset the board so that they're in sync. Um, and then send the QD string here. And I've just killed the port. That's good, isn't it? It's got nothing to do with anything. That's just me pulling things out and plugging them in when really... COM6, serial on, debugs working, and what was it again? It was the QD string. QD string. Did he? Yeah, I've got these in the right order, have I? Yeah, I've got the white and the black the wrong way around. Sure enough. Now, the reason I'm boring you with all of this is so nobody can see, oh, you edit it, and, and, and it's easy when you edit it. I'm, I'm actually showing you what I'm doing live here. Incredibly bad practice plugging things in and out like this. Yeah, try again. And... There you go, there's the hello, uh, etc. Um, just wondering what that QD string is. There's another one. Oh, that's some lines. That was me messing around with lines. So there you are, that's including the reset, clear screen and the text. And it's pretty instant, as you can see. Right, well, I, uh, I hope you're happy with that. Um, let me just take you back to... Wrong camera. Let me just take you back to the screen there. And while we're on, um, we'll do uh, OTA up date. Just so you know how that's supposed to look. Select. And you can see it says attempting OTA updates. Um, attempting OTA. The reason this takes a little while um, is because the program's pretty big now. Uh, having abandoned support for the old one meg boards. It just keeps getting bigger. There's a dot there appeared on the screen. I think this time it should go into the other ROM. Attempting OTA reboot to ROM 0 and we're back in again with version 2.02 because that's the latest one. And we do the debug and we're back to square one. So I hope that helps. 
Um, oh, on the software, you want to be looking at the S6D or 2 a one c code. And at the very top of it, uh, in the comment, it shows you D6 or GPIO 12 is, is MISO. That one's not used. So D7, GPIO 13 is the data pin. Uh, D5, GPIO 14 is the clock. D15 is um, not used because we're, we're grounding it. D16 is DC line, and then you've got your 5 volt ground and 3V3. And that is pretty much it. Um, apologies for the really rubbish video, but I was I was in a hurry to get something out for you to, to, to have a look at. Um, to see if that helps you solve problems. Okay.